Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Jerisk Herxheimer reaction. This is a potentially life threatening condition in a patient who is suffering from spirochet infection, like that of syphilis, Lyme disease, Laos bone relapsing fever, tick bone relapsing fever, and gas treatment with antibiotics like penicillin, cephalosporin, and tetracycline. Any of these antibiotics may cause this potentially life threatening condition to a patient who is suffering from any of this disease. This reaction is reported in about 50 to 90 percent patients treated for relapsing fever, specifically for the Laos bone relapsing fever in, in the study in Ethiopia. In case of syphilis, it may be 15 to 25 percent of patient, but in case of the tick bone relapsing fever, it may be 50 to 70 percent of patients who may show the features of Jerix Herxheimer reaction when they take the antibiotic. The signs and symptoms may be developed within two hours of first dose of antibiotic administration. So this is an image from Microsoft PowerPoint online. We got this image, it gives us a summary. So treatment with antibiotic, suppose a patient of syphilis or Lyme disease. Okay, so he is getting the treatment with antibiotic like penicillin, tetracycline or cephalosporin. What will happen? Sudden release of bacterial product like what? Like the endotoxins and there will be release of cytokines. There will be release of tumor necrotic factors that will be released. Okay, that will cause fever and constitutional symptom. May cause tachycardia, hypertension, followed by hypotension, vasodilatation, shock. Okay, management, supportive management. So, sign symptoms intense rigor, restlessness, and anxiety hyperthermia, tachycardia, and high blood pressure, followed by vasodilation, sweating, collapse, and shock. So what is the pathogenesis of Jerich's Herxheimer reaction or JHR? Bacterial death and release of endotoxin and cytokines like tumor necrotic factor alpha. So what is the treatment of JHR, Jerix Herxheimer reaction? Close monitoring and supportive therapy, intravenous fluid to maintain blood pressure, meptagenal and opioid analgesic. How it works? It works to manage the sign symptoms and it indicates that there may be some endogenous opioid abnormality to a patient with, with JHR. Tumor necrotic factor alpha antibodies that works, but steroid has no benefit in the management of Jerix Herxheimer reaction. And that's all about the Jerix Herxheimer reaction. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.